What's up, you guys? Happy Monday. How was everyone's Sunday, guys? How was everyone's Sunday? I'm actually shooting this on Sunday, but it'll be Monday by the time you guys see this. And I just shot a um, salmon potato mukbang, and we talked about the different schools I went to. So, anyway, so I forgot that I had some money from babysitting. Or not babysitting. Well, kind of babysitting the dog. So I ordered me something that I never tried before. So we have a cherry Coke. This is cherry Coke and Coke mixed together. All right? So this has... A lot of sugar in it and I shouldn't even be drinking it guys but I'm already stressed out so it's okay so but then we got us something that we've never tried and I don't know I don't think I've done Domino's pizza right this is not pizza guys because I didn't want pizza I don't think I've done a Domino's video on my channel since oh god probably like 20 20 2017, 18, 19, I don't even know anymore. I'll have to go look the last time I've done a Domino's video because I don't even eat Domino's that much. So this is chicken Alfredo from Domino's. You see they put a little fork on it. I ordered it actually online and paid cash. I didn't even know that you could do that, this box. And so let's see what's inside guys because I've never had any chicken Alfredo from Domino's before. So let's open it together on camera, okay? Here we go. My bear paws. Look what's inside, guys. Look what's inside. What's inside? Look. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Look what it says. Okay. It comes with a fork, two forks. And we'll take the box away. We don't need the little boxy box. It's actually a cute box to keep. All right. So let's open this on camera so you guys can see what I'm eating for my lunch. And I'm probably not going to eat all of this because I'm actually full. This is for my lunch. This is actually going up at one something in the afternoon. And I probably need to shoot a video. Wow, look at, look at the stain. Look at the stain, look at the stain. Drip off, drip off. Look at this, guys, look at that. Look at that. You see the steam coming off of it, guys? It is hot to the touch, hot. That is chicken Alfredo from Domino's Pizza, guys, okay? And it looks delicious. It looks really good. Really, 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 really good. Okay, so let's try it. And I will tell you guys my honest opinion of it. We're gonna try it without salt first, okay? So let's say grace. There, God bless us, who bless us, God bless us. All right, let's try it. It smells delicious. And it looks very creamy. Oh my God, I just got... Anyways, okay, let's try it with the chicken. You guys get the first bite, yum. Breathe on it because it's kind of hot. I miss my little microphone where you guys used to do like a, what do you call it? What is it called that they call it? Um, not a Q&A. What was it called? SDMR, whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. Um, mm. It's worth it, guys. Mmm. That is good. That is rich, creamy, cheesy. I'm not a fan of the noodles. And I'm actually going to do something weird and add some ketchup to it. Because I need like a tomato sauce. I don't know why I did a ranch sauce. I should have done a tomato sauce to it. I'm not a fan of the noodles. The noodles to me, the noodles to me do not need to be in here. They don't, they don't do it justice. The noodles are just bland. They have no taste to them. I honestly would have done, I, I think that that's the reason why I don't like fettuccine that much because I would have done like something different. I would have done like a, um, I would have done like a garlic noodle or I would have done like a, uh, I wonder if the Chinese have ever tried this with the English people. <laughs> from England, or not England, we're Paris, so wherever this is from. This is like an Italy, Italy, Italy dish. Um, to use the, what the hell is those noodles called? The, um, not Thai noodles, what are they called? Ch uh, noodle, you know the long noodles with like the soy sauce, chicken or whatever that they have at Chinese restaurants? Lo mein noodles, lo mein noodles would be good in this Alfredo's, oh my gosh, that would be so good. Because those noodles have a taste and everything, but if you did that in this, oh my God, you'd be so good. 
I don't drink soda that much, okay? I just slowly brought it in, but I need to slowly take it out because that's probably why I'm gaining weight the most. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's probably soda, chips, and candy again. As soon as I drop that, like literally drop that and probably salt and sides and all that stuff, and this does not help ordering food, I bet you, I promise you, I'll lose like 180 pounds again like I did when I got out of the hospital. Okay, so now we're going to try it with the sauce and the salt and the ketchup. We're going to blow on it and then we're going to try it, okay? I always have to burp. I don't know why. Give me a minute. Okay. Much better, much better. All right, so fun fact. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about about Domino's Pizza. So, in early, I want to say early 2006, 2007, 2008, I was a foodie. I'm not, I'm fat, but I'm not so much of a foodie. Like, I don't wake up and think, oh my God, I'm hungry, what am I going to eat? I honestly don't. I honestly eat out of boredom. Like, when I was working at Universal, I barely ate. Like, I promise you guys not. I barely ate at that part. And they had really good food. But I just was not hungry. So anyways, me and my best friend Darrell, who I just got on the phone with, shout out to you. We would order Domino's pizza, thin crust, because the thin crust is better. I can't do that doughy crust. It's disgusting. So we would do thin crust, barbecue, chicken pizza, and it was so good. Oh my God, it was the best. And we would eat that. Hold on, let me put this on here because I feel like you guys can't see the noodles. And you can just see me. Okay. So, okay, here's another bite, guys, for you. Nice and creamy. But anyway, I got her addicted to barbecue mince and cheese. Barbecue mincins barbecue chicken pizza. I got her addicted to it. Then I got my mom addicted to it. And we would do barbecue mince and pizza, and we would do Philly cheesesteak pizza, thin crust, with the bell peppers. And we would do two big two liters of orange Fanta. That was what we would drink. And that cost me about $26, right? So then when she left or was fired or whatever because my mom got jealous and then the new nanny came in and then we were taking care of, and then I wasn't losing weight yet. But anyway, I introduced, like my sister came to visit and we were wanting some food and we wanted some pizza or whatever and I ordered the barbecue I ordered the barbecue chicken barbecue mince and pizza barbecue bar oh my god I cannot talk Minson's pizza we'll just call it that whatever I'm not gonna go through all this stuff so I would order that for the people who ate cheese and my dad didn't eat cheese so I got him a thin crust cheeseless extra pepperoni extra sauce thin crust pizza he fell in love with that he loved it and he even tried the barbecue one with the cheese and the chicken and the Philly cheesesteak, and he loved it. He was like addicted to it. So all during COVID, we, me and my mom and my dad, I did this on purpose. Cause my sister was like, do something with your parents. And then I wasn't working. So, and then Jama was like barely coming or whatever. So what we did was every Friday night, right? When my dad would be done with work, cause he, his job, his office closed and made him work from home. So he worked in the office and then he had to go in like on Wednesdays and Thursdays, that was it. So, when he would come up from Melbourne, he'd have me order the pizza and he would pick it up on his way home. And he would get his and get me and my mom what we wanted. And fun fact, Domino's has a vegan pizza that is so good. My mom tried it one time. It was so good. Gluten-free. It was gluten-free. It was so good. With the cheese sauce. and Oh my God, it was good. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even know the difference that it was healthy. And we would sit there and we would watch movies. We went through every, because Disney Plus was new at the time. And I had it. So we went through every Disney movie, old classic ones, new ones. We watched a bunch of old classic movies as a family. We watched movies that my mom would always fall asleep when we were little. She finally got to finish because she always fell asleep. And that's literally what we would do every Friday night. And we would finish watching movies like about, I want to say like 10 o'clock at night. And then we'd go change my grandpa, get him ready for bed. And that was it. That would start our weekend. And that was fun. Like it really, I really connected with my parents and it was fun.
So anyways, that's my history with Domino's Pizza. And then there was one time that my dad was coming home from work and he just saw some stuff that just was not sanitary, not healthy. And he said, never again. He said, never again. So he stopped eating there. But I've tried other people's, like, I've tried, McD I've tried McDonald's. They don't have a pizza yet. I'm surprised. Um, KFC just came out with a new pizza that I want to try. But it's so expensive. It's like $27 to have it delivered. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'll just go there and get it. So anyways, um... We have tried Pizza Hut's thin crust. It tastes like cardboard. It's not good. It's better you just do the deep dish with the cheese and all that stuff in the crust. But when I was in New York, we did a deep dish pepperoni pizza because they crave for it. It was good, but it was just too much dough for me. And then when I was in DC, I wanted pizza. My sister and me ordered pizza. And we got a deep dish pepperoni pizza, then one meat lovers, then one vegetable, one vegetarian. And my two nephews love the meat lovers one and my my ex-brother-in-law. And then my sister and me like just the pepperoni one. It was just too much dough for me. Like, see, right now I'm already full and I haven't even finished all of this. Like, look, I get full really fast, guys. So it was just too much dough for me and it wasn't good. And it wasn't, I mean, it was good. The crunch, I love a crusty, cheesy breadstick or cheesy bread or any of that type of stuff. Like me and Jama used to get the cheesy fries from Wendy's, Baconator fries. Oh my God, they were so addictive. Addicting, but Jama don't eat it no more because she's on that Ozepic pill. <gasps> My last bite. And now I'm about to get on the pill or the shot. I'm going to lose weight. But this is a 10 out of 10. I will give this a 10 out of 10, guys. This was delicious. This was only, I want to say, $8 at Domino. Plus the drink, plus the delivery charge. It was probably 20 It was $17. So I let the driver keep the change. Not that much. And this is the small. They had a family size. I did not want the family size, but I guess I could have done it and just ate on it all next week. But I mean, it was good. I like it. I don't like the noodles, so I'll give it. It's a 10 out of 10 without the noodles. Um, because honestly, if you were on a no-carb diet, this would be good for you because... You could eat it without the noodles and you're just getting your chicken, that's your protein, and then you're getting your cheese, that's your dairy. And you need cheese in a diet. You have to have cheese. You have to. And I'm done. Um, Cause when I was doing, when I was getting ready for surgery, I, the doctor literally told me I wasn't doing enough dairy. They did not see enough milk in my system. And I'm allergic to milk when I was a little kid. And I haven't had a bad asthma attack since last year. Um, so they were like, you need to eat dairy. So they said, if you could get a boost, a premier, a protein shake, something, string cheese, um, an egg, whatever you could get in your system, please do it. So I started bringing in protein shakes and they're like, you're good. Because when they run your blood, they can see your levels, guys. They can see your levels of all your stuff. I'm anemic, my iron's low, my, my um, thyroid is slow. Like, there's some of these people that make me sick, sick, sick. They make me so angry. They can eat a bunch of food and not gain any weight because their metabolism is fast, fast, fast. And that makes me angry. <clears throat> and then they still think they're fat. Like, that, ooh, that makes me so angry. Like, I hate people. I don't hate people. I feel sorry for people that have the opposite problem of me. Like, there's the people that they look totally fine. But to them, when they look in the mirror, it's a mind thing. Because when they look in the mirror, they look at my fat rolls or my arms are fat or my legs are fat, especially athletic people. Like these parents have put so much pressure on their kids. Like, yeah, my parents were whatever, but they, thank God they were not so big about athletic, athletic, athletic. Like, I mean, they pushed me into a lot of sports, but they weren't the type of parents that like are so, that were so like, well, I was an athlete, so you have to be an athlete, you know, like stuff like that. Like, my dad played soccer. They call it football in Jamaica. He did all these different sports. My mom did sports. She was a soccer coach. She's a sharpshooter. Like there's so many different things that my parents have done and siblings. And they were like, 
with Matthew, we'll let him do his own thing. Like they were like, what are you good at? And they're like, you're good at photography. You're good at speaking. You should do a radio show. You should be a, do a talk, whatever you could do. Um, you're good at making friends. So they're like, you have your own talents. And they were never, ever, ever, ever diminished that, ever. They never took that away from me, never. They were always encouraging of it. Like I did plays, I did, I did a lot of plays. I did singing. I was in the choir. I did a bunch of church stuff. Like they were always supportive of me. Like they were never like, we don't believe in you. And if one of them couldn't make it, the other person made it. And if they both couldn't make it, they at least, at least sent one of my older siblings to come and cheer me on or my auntie or my grandma or a cousin. Like I'm thankful for that. Like they 100% encourage all their kids to do whatever their heart or whatever talent God gave them. Like my brother, He's a very good cook, very good cook. If I ever made money, I would help, I would open a restaurant and make him the head cook if he wanted to. He did that and he said it was stressful, but he's still a good cook. I would literally let him do whatever he wanted in the kitchen. Maybe he is his domain. Um, my sister, she's very good at drawing and art and all that stuff. My other sister, she's a doctor or she wants to be a doctor. She's very good with that. My other brother, he's a very good science, he's a professor, so he's very smart. And he's very good with playing the piano or music. I would do something music with him. My other brother, he's very good with his hands designing and he could take a hanger and turn that into some type of robotic animal. Um, me, I'm good with photography, helping people. And I have like the biggest heart. My whole family knows that. But I'll cuss you out if I need to. Like my family will come get me when they know, Shh, take care of them, I got you. But, um, And my parents, like, they help everybody. I, I literally, honestly, hand to God, my whole life have learned how to just, like, I'm not kidding. Like, me and my brother, literally, when we lived on the farm, <clears throat> we would go to sleep, right? Me and him shared a room. We'd go to sleep. We'd wake up in the morning, like, there was, like, we were homeschooled. So there was no, like, you have to be up at this time and da-da-da-da. Even though we were Air Force brats, brats, we weren't so strict like that. My parents were not that strict. And my mom plus could get work done when we were sleeping because we were very hyper when we were little. We would wake up and there would be like a kid in the family room, super shy and scared. And my mom would be like, hey guys, da -da -da -da. this is so-and-so. He's going to spend the day with us. And she'd be helping like some single mother just watch one of the kids. And it was like any nationality. We don't know who we'd wake up to. And it was just fun. Like I miss that childhood. Like the different animals that we would rescue and bring back to life. I mean, like we did a lot of stuff. Uh, we were known, like, we were a farm, but we weren't, like, a rescue farm, but people would still bring their animals to us. And my mom would nurse them back to life. Kittens, cats, I mean, kittens, dogs, horses, pigs, sheep, ducks. I mean, like, there were so many different animals that, like, we would help back to life and then give back to their owners. So it's, like, veterinarian, like, my sister wanted to be a veterinarian for the longest time. She loved animals. Um, and so did my little brother, I think. I wanted to be a pastor. I think that was my biggest thing when I was a little kid. I wanted to be a pastor. I wanted to help people. But then when my uncle did what he did and screw our family over and stole my older brother and he was a cult leader, I said, hell no, I ain't doing that no more. I don't want to be a pastor. But I did want to be a car salesman. I loved cars when I was little. Oh my God, I loved cars when I was little. I wanted to sell cars. And my parents were like, you could do it. You could do it. And then I loved to vacuum. I was the biggest person that loved to vacuum. My mom said, you're going to have your own vacuuming company. Because I loved vacuuming. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. but All right. So I've talked to you guys for 18 minutes. I'm sorry, but I just love to talk. I'm sorry. Love me or hate me. You guys like some of my videos. My son says my videos suck, but he still watches them. So it doesn't matter. Um, and he's one of my biggest supporters. So anyways, go get you guys the chicken Alfredo from Domino's Pizza. It comes in this cute little box. It was $9 on the app. Use the app, guys, or the, the thing on your laptop. It's a lot cheaper to do it that way. Excuse me. I mean, you can do it over the phone, too, if you want. But they have that robot thing now, so it's easier to just do it on your laptop. You put in your address. You tell them card or cash, and then they just bring it to your door. It takes, like, 15 minutes. It depends on what you buy. Um, but, yeah. I would get this again, definitely. I'm gonna get my mom to try it because they have different ones. They have a vegetarian one. They have one with meatballs. They have one with just vegetarians, like all vegetables. They have one with just chicken. So I definitely would order this again. I know X out the soda. I didn't need the soda, but it came with it. So I had no choice. Um, 
And look, I haven't drinking all of that, so I'm okay. But you guys will see this on Monday. Hopefully you guys had a good weekend. I don't know when kids start, if they start their spring break soon, guys. But have a wonderful spring break. Be safe. Stay out of trouble. There's a lot of crime already happening in Miami for fights and stuff because people are going crazy on spring break. So they've upped up the police in Miami. So if you're coming to Florida, be safe. Do not do anything stupid. And I will see you guys on Tuesday with another video. Remember, videos back to back to back until my parents come. I don't even care if some of them are going to be talking videos, going to Jama's house videos. You guys are going to get a video every single day. I'm going to try to get back up because my numbers go up and it's in the green and that means good because if you don't post a lot, you'll lose your monetization and then now it's 10000 that you have to get. It used to be 4000 Now it's 10000 to make money from YouTube. So I don't want that to happen on my channel. Jama let it happen to her channel because she don't post anymore. So you have to post, guys. You have to. People who want to do YouTube, you have to post. you got to be consistent with this. So anyways, I love you guys. Hopefully, I'll get a video out this week or next week. Hopefully, and comment below. Me and my kid are going to do a video. We don't know what. He said he would do a video with me. I don't know what we're going to do. We thought about doing the spicy noodle challenge. He wants us to do the one chip challenge, but I thought they said they weren't allowing that no more. Um, I wanted us to do the spicy noodle challenge again because I did those with my cousins. Or go get the world's biggest gummy bear and order it and do a video with it. That's what I was thinking. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see me do with him and with the Jama or her husband. It might be all three of us because that if that happens Tuesday, it'll be all three of us and I'll shoot a video probably of all three of us going wherever we're going. So anyways, I love y'all. Give me a little shoot some Domino's fettuccine. It's really good. Peace. Oh, and don't forget, guys. Don't forget to get... I gotta plug this. I gotta plug this. Don't forget to get this light, guys. Do not forget to get this light from my TikTok shop. It's $3. Okay? Do not forget to get it. I rubbed up my arm. Do not forget to get it, guys. Okay? Love you. Bye bye. Go get you a Domino's pizza. Not plugged by Domino's, but I love you guys. Peace out.